pandas merge. Now, this very important function is how you bring together two data sets in pandas. This is very similar to a SQL join. So let's see how you bring about these two data sets within pandas with pandas merge. First thing that we're gonna do is import pandas as PD. Fabulous. And then we're going to create two data frames. So this data frame uh, is gonna be a list of restaurants in San Francisco with their type. This is data frame one. Now our data frame two is gonna be uh, the name of a restaurant in San Francisco along with average bill and rating, okay? Now say that I wanted to bring together type with average bill and rating on the common name uh, or on the common column of name. Well, let's look at the hello world version of join or emerge in pandas. All you need to do is have the data frame that you want on the left hand side to be the one that you're going to be the subject of and then call dot merge. And then on the right hand side, you're going to specify your data frame number two. And what you need to tell pandas is, well, what key do you want to use to join these two data frames? Or another way, what is the common column between these two data frames? And in this case, it's going to be my column name. So I'll run this and I'll join them together. And as you can see, I have type with average bill and rating, and they're rallied around the column name. Okay. Now let's say that, you know, in this last example, it was pretty convenient that we had two data frames with the same name. But in this case, I'm going to create a data frame where one of the names is called, or one of the columns is called name, and one of the columns is called rest name. Well, how do we tell pandas that we want to join these two together? And the way that we do that is instead of specifying just on, we need to specify a left on and right on. So here I have my main data frame. I'm calling dot merge with my data frame on the right. And then in this example, my left hand data frame, its column name is just name. However, my right hand data frame, this column name is called rest name. And this is what I want pandas to join on. So I'll run this. And as you can see, I get the same exact thing. However, this rest name and name are actually separate columns now because they have separate names. Okay. So let's say, for example, actually, that you have a data frame with a whole bunch of columns and you don't want to join all of them because it's more data than you want. Well, what I do to solve this case is I actually just merge a subset of columns. So here I'll go back to my original data frame one. I'm going to merge my data frame two, but instead of the entire data frame two, I'm only going to include my key or my column column or my common column. And then I'm going to include the subset of columns that I want to actually bring over to my merge. And in this case, I don't care about rating. I only want to do the average bill. And then I'm saying join on name again. And as you can see here, I don't get the rating column because I did not specify it here. I only get the average bill. Okay. Now, last thing that we'll look at is different types of merges. So if you want to specify the types of merges, then let's take a look at two different data frames here. So to do the types of merges, um, meaning a left merge or a right merge, an outer merge or an inner merge. So in order to see what each one of those individual merge types are, head over to data independent and check out our post on that. For this examples, all you need to do is just specify the how within the merge um, function, so the how parameter. So in this case, I'm going to specify my DF5 on the left hand side and on the right hand side, it'll be DF6. I'm going to merge on name and I want this to be a left merge, which means only include the items that appear in the left hand data frame. So here we go. Even though my right hand data frame, data frame included the square, it doesn't get included here because I have a left how. If you wanted to do only the items on the right hand side or on the right hand data frame, then you do how equals right. And then you only get the ones on the right hand side. And if they're not included on the left hand side, you'll get these NAs. Uh, you can do an outer, which is means you're just going to include all items on all data frames. And the ones that don't don't aren't matched on their you know child or their uh, cousin data frame or their sister data frame, you'll get uh, NAs like we do here. And then finally, if you want to do an inner merge, then you just do how equals inner, and then it'll only be the common columns between the two. So that is merging data within pandas. It is super useful. And in fact, it's a top 10 pandas function that all data analysts should know.